Are you curious about the potential of hydrogen fuel cells to power our vehicles? In this video, we'll be exploring the advantages and drawbacks of this technology, from its user experience to the energy required to produce fuel. We'll also discuss the infrastructure necessary to run hydrogen-powered vehicles and the challenges of producing liquid hydrogen. By the end, you'll have a better understanding of whether hydrogen fuel cells are the answer to our transportation needs. You may have noticed that there are already hydrogen-powered automobiles on the market, such as the Toyota Mirai. Although these vehicles aren't as common as those powered by lithium, they have a number of advantages that suggest they will likely become a viable alternative once sufficient infrastructure is in place to run them. They function similarly to gas-powered automobiles from the user's perspective, which is one of their greatest advantages. The tank of the vehicle is filled with liquid hydrogen, which, along with oxygen, is fed into a fuel cell. The only waste product produced during the cell reaction is water vapor, which converts the hydrogen's chemical energy into mechanical energy needed to drive the vehicle. There are numerous obvious advantages to using a hydrogen-powered vehicle over a true battery-powered one, including the ability to refill a tank in a matter of minutes and a far greater range on a single charge than lithium vehicles can offer. However, there are a number of drawbacks as well, indicating that not everyone is convinced that this is a technology that can be used on a large scale and requires a number of improvements before it can be used. The drawbacks of hydrogen fuel cells the first is simply the cost of building hydrogen fuel cells and installing the necessary infrastructure. For instance, gas stations will need pumps that can dispense hydrogen fuel, which will require a significant upfront investment. Particularly concerning is the question of whether hydrogen-powered automobiles actually possess the energy credentials that consumers will expect from electric vehicles. Hydrogen-powered automobiles consume approximately three times as much energy to operate as lithium-powered automobiles for every mile traveled, which indicates that energy needs to come from somewhere. Additionally, the process of producing liquid hydrogen is a source of debate, because it is an element that cannot be found in nature in its liquid form. As a result, it must be produced, and natural gas accounts for more than 95% of the hydrogen that is produced. The technology is essentially transferring the issue from one location to another because the production of the fuel results in emissions that are comparable to or possibly even greater than those of a conventional combustion engine. The electrolysis of water is one alternative method for producing hydrogen, but it is currently so expensive that it is not even close to being practical for everyday use as vehicle fuel. The demand for hydrogen would have to significantly rise in order for it to be worthwhile. Therefore, there is a risk associated with this technology that it will spread to the point where hydrogen with zero emissions is actually available. In conclusion, hydrogen fuel cells have a number of advantages that make them a viable alternative to gas-powered vehicles, but there are also a number of drawbacks that suggest they will require significant improvements and a massive investment in infrastructure before they can become a mainstay of the automotive market. However, if the technology continues to improve and the demand for clean energy increases, there is a chance that hydrogen fuel cells could become a viable and efficient alternative to gas-powered vehicles. What are your thoughts to this upcoming technology? Do you think it will catch on in the future? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay in touch. Thanks for watching and see you next time.